In this video, we're going to talk about how to set up the Domots integration. So we're going to go into our integration section of the admin tab and find it here under monitoring. Then we're going to need our API key endpoint and an API key to connect to that instance. So we're going to switch over now to show you where to find that and how to create one. Now within our other instance, we're going to navigate over to our profile and here we're going to select the API. Once we're in this tab, we're going to go in here and click a create new API key. We're going to paste our password to verify it. And now we can create a name, call this the Hoodoo demo. We'll create that. And now this, this is the information that we're going to need to bring into our Hoodoo instance. So I'm going to copy my, my API key, go over to the integration and paste that below. And then we're going to go back into the other side and copy this right here. As a quick note, when we are copying these items, sometimes it creates an extra space before and after this endpoint. So we're gonna quick delete that extra space here and in front. If we don't do that, it will cause the integration to fail its testing because Hoodoo thinks that the address is incorrect. So we're gonna go to our safe settings and then test our connection. And we can see that this is successful. We'll hit okay and start that sync. We'll give it a moment to fully load everything that we need, and we'll just refresh the page. And in this case, we have our one unmatched company. Now, the name and integration is coming from our Domots instance, and now we're gonna bring it into Hoodoo. If you do not have a company with a match name, Hoodoo will also create one for you. Now we go back, and now that we have our match company, we're gonna restart that sync to bring in more information. And we can let that sit a minute, bring in everything that we need, and we can do a little refresh. Now, initially we don't have anything coming in because the primary devices can now be selected. We have that sync, our company's match, so now let's choose where this location will go. Our primary devices, in this case, we'll consider them desktops. And if we wanna add additional filtering, like generic devices or other options within the other instance, we can do that here and then place the location within Hoodoo. Now, for the moment, we only have the desktop devices to bring in, so we're gonna save those settings, stop and restart for another sync. Now, it is really important to make sure that test connection is successful before we move on, or else it will cause problems and the data won't come in. So again, make sure you have those excess spaces removed, save it, and then make sure that you test the sync again. Skipping ahead a little bit, now we have our existing devices. If you have any more questions, please feel free to reach out to us, comment down below, or contact our support team.